Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll be talking about several common reasons that cause low cell drift. Before we get started, here is the question. What is low cell drift? Low cell drift is when the scales in question fluctuate on weighing the same object, leading to inconsistent results. Low cell drift can prove to be a potential setback for measuring. Drift can cause your low cell to not return to zero in between weighing results. That is a concern because the zero baseline allows you to get accurate measurement each time. Now, let's get down to the topic. Here we have put together four common reasons for low cell drift, as well as simple solutions to each problem. The first one is low cell damage. Damage to the low cell itself can cause drift. This can come from excessive strain, poor handling, or parts wearing out over time. The simple solution is to check your low cells with a return to zero test to see how often they reach defaults. Another is to conduct routine inspections and identify parts that need to be replaced. The second affecting factor is dramatic temperature fluctuations. One of the most common explanations for the drift is rapid changes in temperature. Mass increases and decreases based on the heat or coolness in the room on a micron level. A sudden drop in temperature causes the item's mass to decrease, and it takes a while to return to its original reading. This influx of heat often causes low cell drift and must be taken into consideration. A solution for extreme temperatures is to recalibrate on a regular basis if you cannot change the warehouse environmental conditions. We recommend that in areas with different seasons that you should schedule regular low cell recalibrations. The third cause is moisture damage. Moisture is another cause for the potential drift, and many warehouses and outdoor areas run the risk of exposing a weighing system to excess droplets and vapor. The droplets can get into the cables, damaging them, and the instruments inside the low cell. They can cause clogs and rust, which are not welcome. Check your junction box and the cables for moisture when doing tracks. Create waterproof environments for your low cells if possible and do what you can to remove potential humidity. In addition to excess moisture, a deficiency of it can introduce static electricity to your scale, which is likely to incur low cell drift. Low cells are prone to this buildup, especially if they are not properly grounded. When the static discharge becomes too high, it skews the readings in low cells. Have a setup in place to remove static electricity when it hits a threshold. One option is to add ionizers to your work atmosphere to reduce the amount of positive and negative ions in the air. That's all for this instructional video. If this video helped you out in any way, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button for more insightful content. Reach out to us today to get started with standard and customized low cells. The purchase link has been given in the description down below. Our highly trained technicians are at your disposal if you need help with purchase, selection, or full diagnosis and troubleshooting. See you next time.